All right, so uh, this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and as well uh, Rising Weekly Love and Relationship Tower reading, uh, February 10th to February 16th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested into a, a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below, and there you can find a link to my uh, website, as well as link to your other video of the week, which is going to be focused on a uh, business and career. So Tree of Pentacles, it is the first card we have, which marks the topic for your uh, love life here throughout this week, followed by the next one, which represents the uh, energy supporting and feeding up the topic. That will be the uh, Temperance card. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the challenges um, that you will have to overcome throughout the week in terms of love and relationship. That is to be the Ace of Cups. Uh, afterwards, what we do have, it is the gifts and the blessings uh, that you can enjoy throughout the week here. Uh, we do have the Ten of Cups, followed by the next one, which stands as how people are going to take on you, what kind of an impression you're going to leave into the people around. That will be the Eight of Cups. And the last one, uh, which is the guidance that Saru is offering, uh, that is to be the Six of, uh, the six of Cups. All right, so um, this reading, man, uh, it's uh, all about consolidating and it's all about fixing things and stuff, especially, you know, as you are, as if you are into a relationship, it's kind of like it's, it's all about that, fixing the things that are uh, deteriorating, breaking, or it's kind of like having a negative impact over the relationship uh, you have. Now, uh, the first two cards, uh, the temperance in the tree of pentacles here, which are feeding up, uh, the temperance is feeding up the topic, and the topic itself is tree of pentacles. These two cards are screaming that you have to listen, all right? Just stop for a moment, and listen to what your partner or person of interest has to tell you. It's uh, for one or another reason, uh, it's, uh, oh my God. Mm. For one or another reason, uh, it looks like that uh, when people are trying to explain themselves to you, it kind of feels like on their behalf that they're facing a wall. It's no different than when someone tells you, stop, don't do that. It's like you are not taking that under consideration and yet either consciously or subconsciously, you are doing it yet again. And so this week itself, the energies, the, the energies themselves are going to position you a little bit into a, a, a standpoint where you are going to start accepting the people has differences people does have a different opinion than yours okay so you like something your partner doesn't like it or you don't like something well your partner does like it so it's kind of like over those differences in between you and your partner husband or a wife or a person of interest you are going to start working over and um, you will become more I, the word is not compassionate, let's say tolerant to those differences. So say your partner likes to go on a theater, you despise theater, you, you just don't find it good for you, for example. But yet again, you're going to make a compromise and go with them. So to please them and to kind of like uh, make them, how can I say it, a little bit more exhilarated, you know, so you can kind of like boost their uh, emotional fulfillment. And that itself is going to uh, cause the things in the relationship or into the interaction that you do have to take a position where you're going to talk a lot. It's because the Tree of Pentacles as a topic involves, especially relationship-wise, uh, involves those uh, deeply meaningful talks in between two people, which are with the attempts to sort disagreements and to sort out as well a, a positions of uh, discontent also, and in generally to find a way how you both can cooperate and glue the relationship or the, or the interaction that you do have together. And yet it will require quite a lot of cooperation in between you two and support as well. I mean, you have to support your partner or your person in interest in everything they go through and they have to do the same thing for you as well. Otherwise, 
things cannot be overcome so it's kind of like it looks that this is going to be a bit of a test for your uh, future interaction or for your future relationship that we do have here and uh, it will require from both of you not just from you but from both of you a lot of compassion and a lot of solidarity as well and also a mutual understanding that what doesn't work for you it may work for your partner and despite you like it or not you have to give it respect so the next one here uh, it does resembles the challenges that uh, you will have to tackle with that is the ace of cups and uh, I'd simply that standpoint, you will not going to be very pleased with it. I mean, who does like or who is pleased with things that they have to do that they do not like? Once again, your partner likes to travel. And if you are like me that, does, that, that hates traveling, well, you have to make the compromise and it's not going to be easy for you. It's not going to be exhilarating. It's not going to be pleasant. It will be irritating it will be uh, annoying as well uh, and uh, how, how can i say it and you're not going to look forward to it and yet you got to do it that is the challenge that you will have to face throughout the week so in other words you need to um challenging wise mm, you have to make your partner happy on their terms okay not on your terms but on their terms so they want to travel you go travel with them they want to go on cinema you go and uh, on at cinema with them they like dinners romantic dinners you do those romantic dinners for them it's all about your partner here your husband or wife your person of interest and even if you don't like doing what they like to do you will have to do it if you want the things to start happening in between you two, okay? So uh, that being said, needless to say that uh, this week confronting your partner or your person of interest, it is the last thing you want to do, okay? It's just once you confront them, that will uh, immediately tell them that you pretty much are not going to support them through the development of that relationship. And uh, at that could swallow them into a position for them to give up on the relationship or to give up on the interaction so challenging wise you do have a lot to overcome once again you do have to face the matters of discontent that this relationship is going to have moving on forward and you have to face them with full force here in this week february 10th to february 16th so what are the gifts and the blessings though that you are that you can enjoy so despite that it's not going to be very pleasant it will be annoying boring probably and with a lack of content for you that you have to tackle with the shenanigans that your person of interest or your partner has in store for you well despite that ten of cups here points that uh, it's not going to be that crushing in emotional standpoint meaning that even though uh, you know you have to deal with all these annoying enterprises and endeavors the very fact that you are going to spend the time with this person will be emotionally stabilizing enough so you don't kind of like say you know fuck that shit i i don't want to do anything with that i simply i had enough of it and i don't want to have any of it any longer and uh Simply the Ten of Cups here as well points that, uh, how can I say it, that uh, the whole thing, the whole interaction and the whole relationship that you are to have throughout this week with a person of interest or with your current partner, that is, it will be protected from exterior problems. So no one else is going to influence the relationship outside. But the problems, they are not problems. They are just, you know, differences reside in worthy and nonetheless you once again you will have to deal with them by participating into them uh the next one here it is uh how people are going to see you what kind of an impression you're going to leave into people that is the eight of cups and the eight of cups here uh, hit us with the full strength of that even though the current situation is not as fortunate as you would like it to be okay so you have to share things that you don't like uh, or kind of like you have to involve yourself with things you don't like that are part of your partner or a your person of interest life 
well, that doesn't, that kind of like uh, does not slumber your enthusiasm to look forward into the future. So people that are to take on you, they're going to see, yeah, he does not look very happy or she doesn't look very happy, you know, but it's, it does look like that uh, she or he, depending on what kind of a, uh, sex you are, it's uh, looking for a brighter perspective moving on into the future. Because remember that thing, guys. Now, throughout this week, you will have to tackle with these uh, shenanigans. But the, the next week, you know, it will be your partner's turn. Because uh, according to these cards, what we do have right now, it is more like, I don't know how you say to that uh, game where two forces are pulling a rope and everybody is pulling toward themselves and it's there is no movement whatsoever so eventually one has to give up at that point the rope that is which figuratively speaking can be your relationship so the rope can move and therefore uh, you will have to be that person throughout uh, this week february 10th to february 16 2020 and the last card that we do have for you sagittarius in term of love and relationship that is the six of cups which is the guidance that tara is offering and uh, despite the grand scheme of things once again it's not going to be as pleasant as you want it to be the six of cups here points that there are to be also those kind of like small things around uh, a little aspects of uh, the of the enterprises that you can very much enjoy and instead of focusing on that you have to do on the hateful um, uh, on a hateful movie you know into uh, in a cinema and i can give you straight away an example for that i hate drama movies and comedies it is just something that i cannot stand but if i have a girlfriend that likes them and she wants so much to go and look at that movie with the big comedy actor well i have to go with her although that to me is a waste of time am i gonna have a good time no but i can enjoy the time being with her we can kiss into the uh into the cinema saloon you know you can have popcorns together and all these things that are accompanying the uh the main event are to be pleasant to you and you can definitely enjoy them but uh the main event itself it will be a little bit of a um how can I say it's a, uh, a, a lackluster of content for you. And uh, lastly, the Six of Cups here points that uh, as you do that, as you do that big sacrifice of your time participating into the enterprises of your partner or a person of interest, that is going to boost the physical and emotional connection in between you two. So the evenings of these lacklusters of content for you may have a, a happy ending a, a, a happy endings you know what i mean so yeah that being said sagittarius this was your weekly love and relationship tower reading guys hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website as well as link to your other video of the week which focuses on career and business alone and uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around and until then Bye.